lot of times when you talk to coaches, they say, hey, who's the nickel? Well, this is the nickel right here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is one of those guys who just does a tremendous job. One of the fastest, most physical, fearless nickel corners in the entire league. Pocket stop pass from the boot it up. Perk got the cup from the pull it up. T got the beam, might just light you up. Don't step too close to four, just fuck you up. Uh, 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 uh. Story here, 31 to three, New Orleans. Third down and one. Dylan has to fight for it and tight end in motion, and he's got to stay up above the waist in order to make that block. So good call by the official seeing it. Damian Harris is the back behind Mac Jones. Swallowed up, brought down. And it's C.J. Gardner-Johnson back for this New Orleans defense. They are suddenly a lot healthier with the return of Marshawn Lattimore, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. They're still dealing with injuries at multiple levels, but they're happy to have those two back in the back end. And they start from the 42. Damian Harris, nothing there. Loss of two on the play. C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the thick of it again. Three tackles for loss for the Saints in that opening period. Saints bring more pressure. Jones gets rid of it fast, and he's got a connection to Myers. Hit out of bounds by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Enjoy listening to Mac Jones at the line of scrimmage. That is one thing that Josh McDaniels pointed out a couple of times. He's very good at is handling that at the line. C.J. Gardner-Johnson with the stop on Jacoby Myers. Second down coming up. A lot of times when you talk to coaches, they say, hey, who's the nickel? Well, this is the nickel right here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is one of those guys who just does a tremendous job. He was the guy that got after people, and you don't see that very often from the wide receiver position. On second down, five-man rush. Jones delivers to the sticks. Good throw. To protections, we did not do a good job there. You saw how many seven man protections keep the tight ends and backs in to keep his quarterback clean. Nice clean throw and a 50 50 ball for Myers going up against CJ Gardner Johnson. Incomplete. We'll have that contest for you on Fox next week when the Jets game. Fred Warner and Bobby Wagner, Blake Martinez, guys like that stick out. Dangerous ball, and that's going to seal the deal. That'll be incomplete. That'll bring a fourth down instead. C.J. Gardner-Johnson was looking for the pick. Fourth down. Just the effort. So close right here. Driving on the ball. You can see it bounce off the ground, but that's a good sell job. No, 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 I got it. Right? I'm number one. Uh, look, look, it's right there in my, it's right there in my mitts. I tried. Like, look, look see, I love it. Look at the smile right there. I got, you know, I got, you got me. I tried. It was a good effort. So it's Steve Gleason watching from the stands. Jones handing off Saquon Barkley. Not much on first down. Downs. First and ten. This is Gibson. Trying to get back on the edge. Nice little spin. Just three rushes his whole collegiate career, and he has made it look seamless. Watch these edges all day long because they want to set the edge, New Orleans does, and not allow this Washington team to get outside. That's not the look that they're looking for. They don't want, they know that Washington wants to get outside. In this opening quarter, and now can this offense capitalize? Only a couple of field goals to show for their efforts. We'll check the flag here. They will lean to stands if they don't have everything clear and obvious, though. All right, we thank Gene again for weighing in, all always on top of things for us. As Antonio Gibson trying to find some daylight, brought down just shy of the 15-yard line. That was a huge territory. Play action from Heineke. Goes to Ricky Seals-Jones, who's starting to put his imprint on this game. Seals Jones taking on that entire Saints defense. It's a pickup of seven. The biggest thing is when can you grip the ball? And start to do that. Swain. Got it. First down. That's uh, CJ Gardner Johnson. He's no stranger to that kind of action. He likes getting involved. Second. 
Second down and nine. Gino running and throwing it away. Third and nine from their own 40. Gino throwing on the run. Let's see if that was intercepted. No, it wasn't. CJ Gunner Johnson. That was just a prayer throw there. And it looked to Oof. me. We might have a pick there. That ball moved. Oh, he lost control. Oh, as, he, as he rolled out of bounds, yeah. it looked like he lost control. He definitely see it moving there, and they then sure it comes did. out. Please reset the game clock to 232. It's a nice job of coverage on the, clock, on the part of CJ Gardner Johnson on that seven route, that flag route. Great positioning. The field. Alex Collins, first carry since the first drive. With 20 seconds left in the half and a timeout taken. So they just have to keep their composure here in the second half. Second down and seven. Collins again, about a yard short of the marker. Bring up a third down. Collins was draft field goal range. Jason Myers missed earlier from 44. Trailing by three, third down and 10 at the New Orleans 32. Smith to throw. Sideline, and nobody's got it. Gardner Johnson was there with Swain, and it's fourth down. That was your 50-50 ball. Look, this is a very, very good nickel corner, CJ Gardner Johnson. Just watch him, watch how he maintains leverage throughout the course of this down. Inside. Now slice underneath him right here at the last minute and see if you can come up with the pick. It's textbook. It's textbook. These guys are as talented as anybody in the NFL in the secondary. They stepped up big right here in a crucial moment. Only the 17th meeting all time. <laughs> Davis got to the backfield. Mm. Swinging Collins around to make sure his teammates would get to him next. Loss of one. Two of their most physical players on defense, Demario Davis, and then C.J. Gardner-Johnson cleans it up. I mean, just watch these guys. Here's Demario Davis. Look, there's C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Just watch these two throughout the duration of the play. There's one. There comes the other. He looks to throw for the first time, and has Tyler Johnson to set up third and short. First down from the 49. Brady steps up and throws another interception. It's another Brady turnover against the Saints. C.J. Gardner-Johnson all the way back to the 35. The Saints have managed to make him look human. Yeah, two receivers kind of in the general area. I think he's trying to get the ball to Chris Godwin here coming out of the break. He gets grabbed just a little bit, but Tyler Johnson, who doesn't clear through there fast enough, is why you've got the interception. C.J. Gardner-Johnson's able to come off of Tyler Johnson. You see, Tyler Johnson's not able to get through the middle of the field, which allows Johnson then to come off of him and make the interception because Brady's trying to throw the outbreaking route to Godwin, who also kind of had contact at the top of the route. So, yeah, you... 34-yard connection. And now on first down from the New Orleans 40. The handoff to Patterson. Not much. Mario Davis. Bucks formation to the left. Third down and four. Ryan over the middle. That's broken up. He was looking for the tight end, Hurst. C.J. Gardner-Johnson makes the play, and the Falcons send out the field goal unit. C.J. Gardner-Johnson read it beautifully. Two hands on it, dropped it last week. That was an interception against Brady. Yeah, I know he's kicking himself. That was a tremendous read by him. Saints sitting back in zone, understanding those quick underneath routes, and that red zone defense step. Wilson taking a deep shot for the end zone, and it is incomplete. The coverage by C.J. Gardner-Johnson out. 
Jaquan Alexander has trying to get something going right offensively. And they start this drive on the ground with Pirine out to the 30-yard line. So Pirine played an illness. Pirine's getting a chance. Play action. Wilson looking deep. Crowder fell down. Fans want a penalty, and there's no flag. C.J. Gardner-Johnson had the coverage, and it's third and three. I wonder if that ball would have been a little high for Crowder. As he's come out, that's just like, that's incidental contact right there. But if that ball would have been on target. And Wilson's pass deflected and is it intercepted? That's what they're saying on the field. C.J. Gardner-Johnson coming away with the football. They're going to have to look at that one. It may have bounced. And now they are saying incomplete. It looked like from up here at the ground, and it does. So they got an early look at it. They didn't really even have to say, OK, it's a turnover. Let's review it. We got the early look. Saved us a little bit of time. Now it's fourth down, I believe, for the Jets. Or is it still third down, Andrew? It is still third down. Sometime I think I got that. The 33, clean pocket, Brady completes it. It has been the target of late for him. Chris Godwin, the catch, game seven. Keeping it in the air, Brady throws complete to Godwin again. Gain of five, here's the New Orleans defense. A little like they played against the Saints in the past yeah. and not look like themselves. The 36, it's out quick, it's Godwin one more time. He didn't get the block from Tyler Johnson on the edge. And that is no game. Big hit on the sideline. So you mentioned it. You didn't get to do it much at LSU. He said, we're running school. We didn't throw it much to the backs. Brady's pass here is incomplete. Try to get it to Cameron Great. See Jake Gardner Johnson back in. And he makes the play. The, the doctor. 25 gonna hand it off, and it is Ronald Jones with the carry, and he'll gain three on the 28 yard line. As Jones, who's seen his role decrease a bit, overtime winner last week, is out with COVID 19. Brady throws over the middle, complete on cue. It is Miller, and it's a first down at the 45 yard line. Three backup defensive linemen on the field for the Saints. Here's Jones to the edge. That ran a one tackle, but not the second. CJ Gardner Johnson injured earlier. Comes from that slot corner and makes a big finishing play. And Fournette's coming back on the field for third down. Mike, this game is always chippy, but this one tonight has really been pretty clean, but we've seen some huge hits. This is Carl Granderson, who really does make flashy plays on the defensive side of the ball, but then it's going to be cleaned up by Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, who is always in the middle of something. You know, yep. he is one of those guys for sure. And this kind of game fits him to a tee. 45, play action, Brady. Tries the middle again, incomplete. Buck sideline wanted a flag. None called on C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Thrown for O.J. Howard, we'll throw it to Michelle. On the sideline, but the only thing hasn't gone right for him tonight. Filling in for Sean Payton. Third and 10, four down territory, of course. Brady pressure, escapes, and throws to the run, he's intercepted! Gardner Johnson cuts underneath. They've turned Brady over twice. Eight interceptions in these regular season matchups the last two years with the Saints. And the New Orleans Saints are knocking on the door of a headline grabbing win in Tampa against the Chaps. Got to take your shot, right? But this was fantastic by Chauncey Gardner Johnson. He did the old Deion Sanders trick. Watch him trailing behind Scotty Miller, but he knows anytime he has to, he can break in front, almost inviting that throw and then picking off Tom Brady. He got one the last time they played in that win in New Orleans as well. Brady yelling over there at the Saints sideline. Work his way out of any situation. But here's Tom Brady on the move. That is not what Tom Brady wants to be. 
and there was only one receiver on that entire side of the field, and I'm pretty sure it was third down on the play. Mm -hmm. So you got to try, you know? I mean, you got to take your shot. But that guy right there, <laughs> nobody enjoys being able to uh, stick his tongue out more than he does. Cam Jordan have to play big tonight. Miles Gaskin now in the backfield. Tungabaloa steps up after serving and throws and completes. There's Jalen Waddle back in the lineup after missing last week's game out on the COVID-19 reserve list. Third Man. down. You see C.J. Gardner-Johnson making the play out in the flat. When you're talking about this secondary, you're talking about one of the best secondaries in the NFL, minus Malcolm Jenkins here tonight. But C.J. Gardner-Johnson, I can tell you this, we'll be calling his name a lot tonight. One of the fastest, most physical, fearless nickel corners in the entire league. But this guy can play, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. He is, look, every game that you watch at the New Orleans Saints, he shows up in the run game, in the pass game, man zone. He can do it all. But they're going to move Jalen Waddle around a lot tonight. Every one of these DBs is going to get a little bit of number 17. That was great. <laughs> Perfect tweet. The look on his face that he gave Tom. And he added, Woo. thank you and Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas love it. to all. He's in the holiday spirit. Better to give than receive. Here's Waddle, brought down for a loss, and it's Gardner Johnson on the spot, loss of two. It's not just his great play at nickel, but it, it, you feel his intensity, his leadership. He's always chirping. He's one of the smartest nickels in the game, and I think it's really telling that Dennis Allen doesn't feel like he's got to put Marshawn Lattimore on Jalen Waddle. He is just fine with Gardner Johnson in the slot all night. Until Miami starts pushing this ball down the field a little, watch these New Orleans Saints DBs. They're all sitting on the short game, very aggressive at the line of scrimmage. Two is going to have to pop one over the top in order to get them to back off. See if Miami can cash this in with six. Second and ten. Kosicki makes a man miss, tries to make another miss, goes airborne. And one over Paulson Adebo. Pick up a six. It's a good read from Tua Tungavailoa. Just getting the ball to your tight end quick. Get him on him quick so he can make somebody miss. And I think Kaseki thought he'd get over one, but then the second one came and said, <laughs> I better duck my head and complete this flip. Otherwise, I'm going to land on my head. That's a very active six-yard game. Two drafts in the top four rounds, and they haven't played up to expectation yet. Second and 11. It's Waddle. Forward progress will have about a yard shy of the marker. Looking to his right. Tungabaloa throws it up for grabs, and it's knocked away. Zero pressure, you hear him saying at the line of scrimmage. Tungabaloa lets it fly, and it looked like Kosicki was grabbed by Gardner Johnson, but there's no flag. I like that play from, from Tua. He, you heard him. He said zero. He identified there's no safety. I'm going to find my matchup. I'm going to find my tight end, Gasecki at six foot six, and Gardner Johnson. And that was a push off, definitely. Yeah. I mean, push off at a grab. Yeah. And no flag. 11. Sam Darnold on an island by himself with five wide. Pressure off the edge. Oh, oh Through man. the hands of DJ Moore. Of getting back in that throwing lane. You can watch him coming from inside out and he gets stuck on that number two receiver. Now he was beat. He was beat a better ball from Darnold. And if he leads him, that's a big play. But you don't see, you don't see backers on wide receivers very often. Darnold felt the pressure from Gardner Johnson. Now big third and 11. That would complete to Anderson, but a quiet afternoon for him, and he can't get anywhere near the line to gain. Marshawn Lattimore with yeah. the stop. Really well played by Lattimore. So, look, if you, if you watch that, they came with a blitz. They came with a blitz in the slot, and they're going to let him go. See, he's coming, he's coming. So now you got to replace, right? Now Lat Lattimore's got to make a play to the outside, and he does. Because if he gets to the edge, he's probably going to beat the backer to the edge. Really well done. Really well done. Moore couldn't get in there to get the get the block. Off the edge, oh. look out. 
C.J. Gardner-Johnson gets home unabated. You got to hurry up, get back. Get lined up, get this play called. Clock is running or take it. You take the timeout. Boy, he came in. No one even stopped him. Nah, he just, and it's well done, too. So you see Christensen is forced to block to the inside. That's because that inside defender took the inside and turned him, and then he couldn't even see it on the outside of him. Gardner Johnson did a, did a nice job making the tackle. You're coming clean like that. You have to make the play, right? And he did. We just said somebody's got to make a big play. Gardner Johnson just made it. You know, for the Saints defense, and Carolina really back against it here. Second and 20, with just one timeout left. Darnold intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner Johnson. What a series for him. He had the sack, and now the pick to seal it. I'm going to repeat myself again, but the team that plays the best defense will win this game. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. And with this pick, the Saints still have hopes to get into the playoffs. Not a good throw. Gardner Johnson just did a nice job, and they're just sitting back there. It was behind him as well. Third pick of the season for Gardner Johnson and his most important one. Three tight ends for Atlanta on second and nine. Off the play action, Ryan, nobody open. Needs a little help and he'll throw this one away. The checkdowns and look at Pitts. Excellent leverage. Right there by Gardner Johnson, number 22. Pretty bird on week 18, and ruined the Saints' chances. Here's Mike Davis with the carry, and Davis tripped up at the 36-yard line. Second and four, Saints rush four. Ryan looking short, and an immediate stop of Mike Davis by C.J. Gardner Johnson. Brings up a third down after the one-yard pickup. Well, they just try to run a simple, quick game pattern right there to get him into a third and manageable and Matt Ryan had to roll through that progression a couple of times and finally found his back but they just the Saints did an excellent job of gathering everybody in their zones and sticking to their targets on third and three pressure up the middle Ryan steps away throws into traffic and it's incomplete trying to fit it into Kyle Pitts who has just one catch for one yard today. And watch the jump by Malcolm Jenkins. He knows where he's going with this ball. He had already fired and was ready to go break up that ball, making it almost impossible for Pitts. That's just in the backfield now on second and 16. Four-man rush, Ryan caught by Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus can't get to the 25-yard line. Gardner Johnson the first there. Too close to forge is fuck you.